everyone, welcome, welcome, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, welcome to my channel. My name's Rebecca, I make content about vegan and cruelty free stuff, that sounds like your cup of tea, scrub scribe, if you fancy, and yeah, I'm just gonna get straight on into it with some toothpaste recommendations. So all these brands are cruelty free with vegan options, or at least the, the products I'm gonna show you are vegan. In terms of why toothpaste might not be vegan, it's usually to do with the glycerin contained inside the formula. It can be derived from plant oils or plant fats or synthetically made, or it can come from animal fats. So it's just that kind of difference which deciphers whether it's vegan or non-vegan, decipher is the wrong word. But anyway, that's kind of where the issue lies. Sometimes also with flavoring, I think some different flavorings can be non-vegan. So yeah, these are all clearly labeled as vegan and I'm gonna start with my, well, I'll start with my favorite, but I will just say before I start with my favorite that my actual favorite is the Taylor's 32 toothpaste, but it's been discontinued. I couldn't find it anywhere. I went on a wild goose chase to find it at different Whole Foods stores. And then I finally emailed the brand and apparently they've gone out of business or they've stopped trading for now. So I, I'm hoping they come back because it's the only toothpaste I've used that was actually whitening. And it was just an amazing toothpaste and it had fluoride in. So all of these I'm gonna show you today have fluoride in apart from a couple of products. I know some people don't like using fluoride. Personally, from what I've read, I don't really see the problem with fluoride. I think that if you have a ridiculous amount of fluoride, it can lead to fluorosis, I think is, that's how you pronounce it. From what I've read and from the evidence I've read, it's only really something if you have too much fluoride in the very beginning part of your life, like the first eight years or something. So it's, for me, it's not a problem. I went fluoride free when I went true hippie. I decided to stop wearing, <laughs> I went vegan, decided to stop wearing deodorant and stop using fluoride and started, I was just, it was a wrong thing to do, to be honest, because I had to have four fillings in a year. Four fillings. That's expensive. That's like 200 pounds. It was also the first sort of set of dental work where I had to pay for it myself. If I had known how much fillings cost, I would have eaten so many sweets. Well, I did eat so many sweets when I was younger, but I would have had all the fillings I needed before I was 16 so that when I was a proper adult, I wouldn't have to pay like 50 pound a filling. Anyway, I'm gonna get straight on into it because I feel like I've blabbed for quite a while. The first toothpaste I wanted to recommend is the Jason Naturals Power Smile Anti-Cavity and Whitening Gel. This is in the scent or flavor Powerful Peppermint. So this doesn't have SLS in it, does contain fluoride. It's about three to four pounds. I got mine online, but before this, I've also got it from Whole Foods before. So you can probably get it in like natural stores and other places online, probably on Amazon and places like that. It is a gel, it's more than like a creamy paste, but it froths up just like a toothpaste does. Feels really fresh, the flavors are really, really good. And it's a genuinely lovely toothpaste. Do I think it makes my teeth whiter? No, but it doesn't make them yellow. Another option, this one I actually got from TK Maxx, so you can probably pick it up online. Again, it's by the company called The Humble Co. And this brand, I don't have any to show you, but they also do little dental brushes, but they are bamboo dental brushes. So the actual bristle of the brush, I think still contains plastic, but the handle is made out of bamboo as opposed to most that you buy in the supermarket or if your dentist supplies them for you, will have a plastic handle. So it's a slightly more eco-friendly option. And I really like their toothpaste. This is just their natural toothpaste, contains fluoride in the scent or flavor, fresh mint. Seems like a nice company. And I would just say, I have tried the strawberry mint flavor as well. And I'm not really a fan of flavors of toothpaste. Like I. I just like the standard minty flavors. Don't really like strawberry, don't like bubble gum. When they try and introduce all these like fancy flavors, I just think like, why would you try and reinvent the wheel? But yeah, I don't recommend the strawberry and mint flavor. It's not that tasty, but I do like this one. If you want a really cheap and cheerful option, these aren't necessarily natural or like SLS free. These are by Superdrug, very, very cheap, very affordable. They're always on special offer. They work really well. The flavor I don't think is as good as these two. I like kind of quite a natural, very fresh, sort of effect to my toothpaste. Like these, these are nice, they're nice, but they're just kind of like Colgate nice. Do you know what I mean? Not cruelty free, even though they came out with a vegan toothpaste. It's not cruelty free, therefore it's not really vegan because vegan means not tested on animals and Colgate are not cruelty free as a brand. So steer away from Colgate because they are not cruelty free and they're trying to capitalize on the vegan market without actually following through and being cruelty free as a brand. So that's that. If you are gonna go for like a high street option you can find in Superdrug, I would recommend picking up one of these. I've got the Sensitive Toothpaste in Fresh Mint. This tastes like milk teeth. If anyone knows what milk teeth is, it's, I know you're not supposed to eat toothpaste, but milk teeth is like a kid's toothpaste. I don't know if it's a worldwide thing or if it's just something that was in the UK, but it just tastes like childhood. I used to, eat, like, <laughs> I did used to eat toothpaste. I mean, I didn't eat it like by the tube, I did used to eat soap. 
that I, why do kids do these things? They're so stupid. Like you give them their food, they don't eat it. You give them a bar of soap, they'll chow down on that, no problem. Anyway, <laughs> yeah, these are good cheap and cheerful options. Fresh mint as well is nice. And to be honest, they're both really good. If you're on a budget, I do recommend these. I think they're not my, they're not as good as the Jason one in terms of flavor, but they're still really nice. And they do kind of taste like Aquafresh or Colgate, those kind of like mainstream brands. And then the last lot that I've tried are by Eco Denta. Now, I kind of don't really wanna mention these because I saw them on the Logical Harmony approved list, um, which by the way, Jason Naturals is on the Logical Harmony approved list. Humble & Co isn't, because I think they're more of a small business, but not sure, and Superdrug is. And Eco Dent, Eco Dent is on the Logical Harmony approved list, but Eco Denta is not. So that was my bad. These are cruelty free. They claim to be cruelty free, but you know how some brands just claim to be cruelty free and there's no, nothing to back them up. They are mentioned online in a lot of different blogs as being cruelty free. So I haven't personally contacted this brand to see if they're cruelty free because I bought these a while ago from TK Maxx. Basically, whenever I'm in TK Maxx or in a shop, I usually have the Logical Harmony uh, website on a tab so that I can just go through or search the name, find it, and then if it's on the list I know it's cruelty free whilst I'm in store um so yeah that was just my bad in this case um they might be cruelty free I think they're okay I like the the plain mint one these two are not I'm not a fan of because they are slightly more they're trying to introduce weird flavors like lemon lemon essential oil toothpaste coffee wine and tobacco users and then this one is cranberry and mint I don't approve of these flavors but they do both have fluoride in and they are slightly more natural formulas so a little side note on those I don't 100% recommend these but I thought I'd give them a quick mention because if anyone's made the mistake that I did and thought that eco dent was the same as eco denta I mean that must confuse a lot of people I can't be the first person to be confused between that eco dent and eco denta oh these are so grubby sorry <laughs> They've just been in my drawer for ages because since I made that mistake I was like uh oh spaghettios but yeah. And then a quick mention to a fluoride free option. This one is very, very new to me, so I'm not necessarily recommending it, but I thought I would just flag it as a zero waste and fluoride free option from Geo Organics. And as I mentioned in my one of my recent vlogs, they did send me a few products over. I was already a really big fan of their solid mouthwash. I bought it a couple of times and they're basically, they're these little tablets mouthwash tablets. They are really, really good. They take a while to dissolve, but the idea is that instead of using mouthwash from a plastic bottle, you take one of these little tablets, put it in a little bit of water. I would say do it before you start brushing your teeth and then once the two minutes is, two minutes is up, it should have dissolved because otherwise if you wait till after you brush your teeth, you're gonna be stood there for ages waiting for it to dissolve because it doesn't necessarily fizz up instantly. It takes a while to break down. But once it does dissolve, you then just use it as you would any old mouthwash. And I think they're really, really good. They're not too sweet. They're a little bit, not bitter, but just, they're not sweet at all. So they leave you your mouth very, very fresh, but they aren't, you know, like some, some mouthwashes are pretty sweet. Like same with toothpaste, some are really, really sweet and you don't realize until you kind of use ink products without so much like sweeteners or xylitol or whatever. Xylitol? Xylitol. Xylitol. Xylitol? I don't know. You don't realize how sweet other things are. Do you know what I mean? I do recommend these. Already have a packet on the go. Um, they also do an orange flavor, which I'm not really a fan of, but that's just a little side note. They did send me a couple of things over, one of which, uh, as well as the mouthwash, was this natural toothpaste. So this comes in a glass jar. It's an actual paste. It comes with a little spatula and you can scoop a bit out and put on your toothbrush. And it leaves the mouth feeling really, really fresh. I do actually really enjoy this. Again, it's a little bit like almost salty, just like it's a very savory mint flavor it's not sweet and minty it's just very very refreshing and yeah almost salty but not not disgustingly salty at all I think it's a nice flavor and if you do want something that's zero waste and fluoride free I definitely recommend this over toothpaste tablets because unfortunately if you watch my recent disappointing products video you'll know that I've tried a couple of I've tried three I think now different kinds of toothy tabs toothpaste tablets one of which are the my white secret toothpaste tabs I've also used the ones from anything but plastic they have fluoride in and I've tried the lush ones that don't have fluoride in the lush ones froth up nicely but again they don't have fluoride in so it's like a strange kind of balance because I want vegan and cruelty free dental products that work well but I want them to have fluoride in so it's like you can find good vegan and cruelty free solid toothpaste from Lush, but it doesn't have fluoride in. And then ones that do have fluoride in, don't froth up. They honestly just, it's like chewing on a paracetamol. They just don't froth up. 
they honestly don't they don't work in my opinion so if you do want a zero waste option i think this is the best one to go for because this froths up a tiny little bit i mean it says it's a non-foaming formula but I would say this froths up a little bit more than the toothpaste tablets. You can brush your teeth with this and it feels like it's doing a good job. I mean, the toothpaste, apparently toothpaste doesn't, I don't know if this is true. I've only heard it in Lady Bird, the movie. The dad says that apparently toothpaste does the same amount as a mint would. Do with that information what you will. If you haven't seen that movie, watch it because it's actually one of my faves. It's a bit of a slow burner, like not much happens, but it's a bit like Paolo Alto. If you've seen that movie, it's just like teenage movie and it's, got some very strong female characters in so I like it. Side note if you don't want to purchase the mouthwash tablets if you want some more traditional mouthwash Superdrug own brand they'll always do vegan and cruelty free options just check the back of the packet. I would say they're quite heavily packaged in plastic though so I actually think price per use out of these because you get how many are in here like 180 is it yeah 180 in a little pot and I've had this first one I've had this for ages I use it all the time and I've hardly made a dent in it so I do think it's actually very cost effective to use solid mouthwash but that's just my two cents and then in terms of floss what you've got to look out for is Two things, firstly beeswax, some brands, I'll actually show you because when I first went cruelty free, I bought a couple that actually weren't vegan because when I first went cruelty free, I wasn't necessarily vegan. So, I, well actually it kind of, it was like an iterative process. Like I was vegan in my diet and then started to go cruelty free in my makeup and then it kind of started to go vegan and cruelty free in my makeup. So I purchased this one, this is by Woo Bamboo, but the actual, silk so the actual floss is made from silk which is from the silkworm this brand in particular say that they don't force the silkworms to create the silk i don't know how you get it from the worms without forcing them to produce the silk on a mass scale like on an industrial scale so i don't know how much i buy that but hey um, and it's also coated with beeswax similarly the geo organics they sent me this in that recent package i haven't opened this because i ain't putting this anywhere near my mouth this is again made from real silk, which is just not something. I don't like moths. I think silkworms become silk moths. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't like moths at the best of times. I don't want them anywhere near my mouth. And I do think it's quite cruel. The way that they produce that silk is really cruel because I think they have to like boil the, whilst they're in, uh, this might be false information. So I don't want to put out fake information. All I know is it's pretty cruel and I don't really want to sport it. So my favorite option is the Bam and the Boo. They make bamboo toothbrushes. I use bamboo toothbrushes for like travel, but I do have an electric toothbrush, which is not certified cruelty free because I've had it for a while, but I feel like it's pointless buying. The only brand I know that does cruelty free toothbrushes is Geo Organics actually. They do a recyclable electric toothbrush. I haven't tried it, but I've heard it's pretty good. Um, and it's probably similar to one I have. Did I bring it in here? I feel like I did, but it's just this one. It's just a white toothbrush, but it's not like a big name brand. I think I got this from TK Maxx as well. But yeah, it's like a Sonic toothbrush. And I think this is similar to the Geo Organics one. So I do use bamboo toothbrushes, but I do think an electric toothbrush is the best way to brush your teeth. Just from my experience, I think that a toothbrush that isn't electric doesn't give you the same effect. Obviously that's just personal opinion. If you do want to use a bamboo toothbrush, you can pick them up so many different places now. Um, biodegradable, compostable toothbrushes. But yeah, they do floss, which is completely vegan. And let me just quickly look up the ingredients because what do they use? It's bamboo charcoal fiber with candelia wax, which is not obviously no beeswax involved, no silk involved. And it retails for five euro 90. I think they're based in Portugal, so. You might have to order this online if you don't have it. If you're not based in Portugal, you might have to order this online. But I do think it's really, really good. I don't floss as much as I should. I probably floss like... I'm not even going to say because if my dentist watches this, then I'm going to be in big trouble. Because <laughs> every time I see her, she's like, have you been flossing? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> yes, ma'am. I probably have flossed like three times in the past year because the gaps between my teeth are so small that it makes my gums bleed. And some, when I've told her that before, she said, oh yeah, you just got to power through that. Like your gums will harden up and they'll stop bleeding. I was like... I call bullshit because also the more I do it, the bigger the gaps are gonna get and the more that like food and sugars and stuff are gonna get stuck in between my teeth. I'm not saying she doesn't know what she's talking about, but all I'm saying is it's worked fine for the past 24 years and I'm not gonna be changing it anytime soon. I probably should, but I probably won't. And that my friends is it. Lots of different toothpastes and mouthwashes and flosses and just all good stuff. I really hope this video was enjoyable. I hope it was informative. If you learned something new, Give us a thumbs up, maybe subscribe if you would like to. And if you wanna see any other kind of like, obviously these are my favorite dental products. If you wanna see like my favorite 
body butters, body oils, face washes, like any particular kind of category of product, let me know and I will be sure to do it. Thanks again for watching and hopefully I'll see you very soon. Bye.